UploadLetters.com is a user-friendly online platform that provides the convenience of sending various types of letters digitally. These include first-class mail, certified mail, and priority mail. To initiate the process, locate and select the Login button positioned in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. When it comes to creating an account, you have several choices available. One option is to click on the Register button, which will prompt you to provide your name, email address, phone number, and password. And to verify your account, an email confirmation will be sent to the email address you provided. Alternatively, if we return to the login screen, we are presented with two additional choices to sign up and establish an UploadLetters.com account. It is possible to utilize either your Gmail account or your Microsoft credentials for this purpose. For the purpose of this example, we will opt to use our demo account, which is connected to our Gmail. After successfully logging in, the tracking page will be exhibited providing a comprehensive view of all the batches that have been created within the previous weeks or months. To get a detailed understanding of the tracking page and its features, please watch the tutorial video specifically dedicated to the tracking feature of the application. In this video tutorial, we will explain the process of creating batches to upload and mail letters using different methods. The first method involves extracting a letter from a PDF document. The second method is importing a letter from a file, while the third method involves manually adding a letter. We will provide detailed explanations for each method, starting with Extract from PDF. When the Extract from PDF option is chosen, a prompt will appear, allowing us to either drag and drop a PDF file or select it from a specific file location on our computer. From here, you will select the PDF from which you want to extract the information. For this example, we will select the letter titled Collection Letter Extract from PDF. Simply select that letter and proceed by clicking on the Next button. At this stage, you will be prompted to predetermine the number of pages allotted for each letter. It is critically important to ensure that when importing a PDF file containing multiple letters, each letter maintains an identical page count and the recipient's name and address block remain consistently positioned on the first page of the letter. Otherwise, the extraction will not work. You can choose a maximum of 50 pages for each letter. In this particular case, the letter consists of only one page. To extract the addresses, draw a box around Spencer Tyler. Once you click on it, you will see that the recipients and addresses have already been extracted. You can scroll down to the bottom left to view the list of extracted recipients and addresses. We will proceed by clicking on the Next button. The address displayed here is the pre-selected default return address. You have the option to modify this address by selecting a previously saved return address or by typing in a new return address. Additionally, you can import multiple return addresses in Settings. In order to select an alternate return address, all you have to do is click on the button that consists of three vertical dots. In this case, we are satisfied with our return address, so we will proceed by clicking on the Next button. This will take us to the Mailing Options page, where we can choose the type of USPS service we want. The options include First Class Mail, Certified Mail, Certified Mail with Return Receipt Electronic, and Priority Mail. If we select Certified Mail or Certified Mail with Return Receipt Electronic, we also have the option to include a first-class shadow letter. In some industries, it is necessary to send both a certified letter and a first-class letter together. In this case, we will remove the option to send a shadow first-class letter and continue with our selection of Certified Mail with Return Receipt Electronic. For the selection of the envelope, we will decide to go with a number 10 envelope and use one-sided printing. Instead of sticking to black and white, we can make the choice to go for color printing. Once this decision has been made, we can move forward by simply clicking on the Next button. Upon reaching the Letter Preview page, we will be able to observe all the letters, recipient details, service type, and the different print options that we had previously selected. From this page, we also have the option to preview all letter images, Let's go ahead and view one of the letter images. 
we can simply click on the View Letter button. This action will result in a separate window opening displaying an image of the letter. Consequently, you will notice that this is a certified letter addressed to Spencer Tyler. The first page serves as the security cover page, and all subsequent pages will be the actual letter. The appearance of the cover page will vary depending on the USPS service type. In this example, the letter is being sent via certified mail, which contains the necessary IMPB barcode that will show through the window of the envelope. By scrolling down, we can view the first page of the letter and confirm that it is indeed addressed to Spencer Tyler. Since we are satisfied with this, we will exit the screen. You can also delete individual letters or all letters from the letter preview screen. For example, if you decide not to send a letter to Riley Porter, you have the option to delete this letter. If you desire to remove all the letters within this specific batch, you have the choice to delete them collectively in one action. Furthermore, if you are not prepared to transmit this batch, you have the ability to save the batch for a later time, and it will be stored in your Incomplete Orders section. For the time being, let's click on the Next button to continue. It will now take you to the Order Summary page where a batch ID is automatically generated. In order to use a discount code, you need to input it into the specified area. Afterwards, the system will display a comprehensive breakdown of each item that is part of the mailing, which will also be mirrored on the invoice. The invoice can be located within the payment section of the application. We have the option to make payment either through the funds in our wallet or by using a credit card. Because we have the available funds in our wallet, we can use them for payment instead of a credit card. Once the payment is done, we'll be redirected back to the tracking page and can return to the Create a Batch page by clicking Send Letter. Let us now move on to the next method for sending letters. This alternative option for sending letters allows you to import multiple records at a time with more flexibility than the Extract from PDF method. By employing this method, you have the capability to upload either a single PDF or multiple PDFs. Furthermore, you will be required to upload a CSV or Excel file that is appropriately linked to the individual PDF or multiple PDFs that were uploaded. To upload your CSV or Excel import file, you can simply select the option Upload from File in this section. To begin, we will initiate the process by uploading the PDF or PDFs linked to the imported Excel or CSV file. After that, we can proceed by selecting the next option. By performing this action, we will be swiftly redirected to the page where we can preview the letter. This redirection occurs because the import file has already determined various mailing details such as the method of mailing, type of envelope, preference for color printing, and other mailing options. As a result, the Mailing Options page will be completely skipped, ensuring a smoother and more efficient user experience. By accessing the Letter Preview page, we have the ability to examine every individual letter to ensure its accuracy and confirm that all data was imported correctly. Let's look at one of the letters that was created. We'll focus on the last letter in the batch. As we can see, this particular letter is being sent via Priority Mail, with Amina James as the recipient. The cover page for Priority Mail is noticeably different from the cover pages of Certified Mail and First Class Mail. It is prominently displayed through the window of the Flat Rate Priority Mail envelope. By scrolling down below the cover page, we can review the actual letter that is being sent. If you choose the option for two-sided printing, there will always be a blank page behind the cover page. However, if you choose one-sided printing, the letter will be the very next page after the cover page. If we are satisfied with the letter after reviewing its contents, we can go ahead and exit the preview screen. Once we are satisfied with our choices, we can proceed by clicking on the Next button. This will take us to the Order Summary page, where we can review our selected options. Since the imported file contains different service types such as First Class Mail, Certified Mail, Priority Mail, and Color Print, the Order Summary will display multiple line items, unlike the previous summary for the Extract from PDF option. We have the option to pay either with a credit card or with our pre-funded wallet. As we still have a balance in our wallet, we will choose to use the wallet for payment instead of the credit card.
Once more, we will be redirected to the tracking page. As you can see, the order we created using the extract from PDF feature is already designated as being in the processing stage. Now, let us move forward to the final method of sending a letter, which involves manually adding it. In order to examine the last method for sending a letter, we should click on the Add Manually option, which will trigger a prompt asking you to select a single PDF document. This PDF can be either a customized letter intended for an individual recipient, or alternatively, it can be a generic letter, like a newsletter, that is capable of being sent to numerous recipients simultaneously. Let's go ahead and click on the Next button. If we are mailing to multiple recipients, we have the option to add each recipient individually. To do this, we can enter the names one at a time. Additionally, we have integrated Google Maps, which means that when you start typing your address, it will automatically recognize it. You can then select the address using the Google Maps integration. If you want to add your unique ID and letter ID, you can do so. But for now, we will cancel that and proceed to add the recipient through our address book instead. In our address book, there is only one address listed. We will explain how to import additional addresses in a separate video. For now, the address we have is for Spencer Tyler, who also happens to be the intended recipient. Therefore, we will include Spencer Tyler in the batch and send the letter to only Spencer Tyler. Again, if this was a generic letter, we could add additional recipients from our address book or by typing them in manually. Let's click on Next. Once again, the return address is already filled in. We will proceed by selecting Next again. We would like to send this particular letter via Priority Mail using a Priority Mail flat rate envelope. We are also going to choose to have the letter printed one-sided versus two-sided print, otherwise known as simplex versus duplex. In this case, we are satisfied with the black and white color print option. After clicking on Next, we will see the same letter preview screen as before when sending letters through Extract from PDF and Import from File. Clicking on Next will take us to the Order Summary page where we can view our order. We will proceed with the payment for the order by utilizing our wallet. After the payment has been successfully processed, you will be able to observe that all three batches that we have previously generated are now in the status of being processed and can be conveniently monitored on the designated tracking page. Additionally, we will present a separate video that offers comprehensive guidance on the process of tracking letters. If you would like to view the invoices for your orders, you can conveniently access them on the payments page. Here is the invoice for the batch we just processed. You'll notice that it lists all the relevant line items and that it is marked as paid in full. We can access the one that was created using the import from file feature. This particular one consists of multiple line items, much different than the one we previously viewed. You have the option to download this for your personal records. Additionally, we will be storing all invoices, letter images, and tracking information on UploadLetters.com for three years. However, you are always welcome to save this information for your own records. And with that... We have reached the end of this comprehensive tutorial on the various methods for creating batches to send letters. Thank you again for choosing UploadLetters.com. Please email us at support at UploadLetters.com with any questions.